All right. So I've had some requests to show how I mix my paints. Um, I used American Base Floetrol. You can get this at Home Depot or Lowe's. Right now, Lowe's has a recall on their Floetrol. Um, it smells like eggs, and it's not very... You don't want to use it. So just when you're getting it, you want to make sure you look inside. Make sure it looks white, not yellow. It doesn't smell like egg. So I like to measure in grams. Um, I'm going to measure 10 grams of Floetrol. Normally I would have a sifter thingy, but I currently do not have one. So I'm only going to do 10 grams. 11 is fine. 11 grams of Floetrol for this one. And then I'm going to tear it out again. And I will do 5 grams of paint. Now I've been using the blue hue or the blue gray from Liquitech Basics to um, do my base for my pores that I've been doing. Um, but I'm not going to do that because I need more. So I'm going to do 5 grams of paint. Um, this one is Deep Red by Artisoft. Some of them were given to me, so I have to make sure that they're, they're not like clunky. It looks pretty good. So I'm blocking them. So. Oh, this might not be good. It's clunky. Oh, it's eight. It's fine. We will make this work. So just be careful if you get donated paints. It could be clunky. These are not accurate measurements, but they are measurements. You need a number eight. So I need a water cup. Um, for my water, I like to use this Distilled water. Um, you can get it at any store. So now I'm going to hit tear again and I'm going to measure out four grams of water. I don't know why my scale's being weird. I think it's because the battery's dying. No, it's six. It's fine. Measurements don't have to be accurate, so tear it out and mix. So sometimes when your paint's gone bad, um, you'll it, you'll notice it's uh, chunky. So this isn't good. But I'm gonna keep trying because I don't want to waste materials because gotta keep going. I'm going to add a little bit more water because I don't like the consistency. Add little amounts until you get what you want. And a little bit more water. You don't want to add like a whole bunch of water, but you want to add just a little bit amount. Okay. 
kind of liking this, but it's still mounding. from the bottom and I like that because it's easy. That's my red. Next week. Next one. To zero it out. Always, always do your Flowitrol first and then your um, paint and water. I'm going to do 20 grams of Floetrol. That sucked. Okay. When I am, when my glue is kind of exploded. It's 20 grams. I'm going to do 10 grams now. I think. And 11 is fine. And then we're going to do 8 grams of water. You can see it automatically like consists in between newer paint and older paint. I'll get this one day. to go into the cup but you don't want it to like be too watery and you don't want it to be you just want a good consistency all right that's it for today's little tutorial lesson um if you have any questions just let me know